Hey guys, how's it going? Just wanted to show y'all a stash edition I got between China from AliExpress and eBay, as well as my haul from the Hobbytown Wichita grand opening. Uh, the grand opening was amazing. They had a huge RC track out there for people to run their cars on, a huge ramp, great deals, had a raffle. Unfortunately, I didn't win. Uh, we know this is part of the game. So today, uh, we're gonna go over the AliExpress order first, and then I'll get into what I got from uh, Hobby Town. So first thing I'm gonna go over is my first figures for the Horizon Island diorama. Uh, keep in mind, this is gonna include the tow Jeep, a TACOM M114, and a huge T intersection with one side being completely turned into a trench defense system like a blockade basically uh, these are gonna be the Jeep drivers so you can't really see the detail all that well due to my lighting on the with the faces but pretty nice detail the only thing that's not very well detailed is this m16 it needs some cleanup but we can take care of that later but here are the figures themselves look really nice Thank you, AliExpress, once again, coming in clutch. And I've got a bunch more figures for this diorama coming in from AliExpress, so. Uh, and then they sent me this candy as well that was in the package. Uh, this actually came with the Tacom M114. They put it in the box for me. That was real nice. It was like a caramel flavored candy, so. But yeah, so next is the Tacom M114. Uh, got this for $35 after shipping, which shipping was like two bucks. Uh, give me a moment and I'll throw up on the screen how much it cost at the local hobby store. So yeah, as you see, quite a price difference. Uh, understandably, I bought this from the producer in China, so of course it costs less. Uh, and it's all here, right? Everything's in it. Uh, I just took about two weeks to get here. So, really nice stuff. It's got a, of course, the TACOM booklet with uh, markings, photo etch, and some, looks like that's supposed to be the tow cable right there, that brass piece. Lots of clear parts to mess with. And then my favorite kind of tracks are the link and link tracks, or link and link, however the hell you say it. Uh, and that's the ones that the 114 has, so that's really nice. This is a full interior, mind you, so there's lots of sprues. I cannot wait to build this up, make it look detailed. I'm gonna have it as if it's staged, ready to defend the road, and uh, you know, the back's gonna be open, all that fun jazz. So looking forward to doing this, TACOM. Uh, probably one of the best modeling companies out there to date. Uh, I say that and I haven't built anything, but I've got a bunch of friends who have, and uh, they have amazing quality, good booklets. I have a few of their kits, my stash, so great stuff. But that's all I got from AliExpress and eBay. Now for the great, or great hobbies, gosh, that's the Canada one, uh, Hobby Town USA haul. So first thing I'm gonna show y'all is this weapons pack I got. Um, it's heavy weapons and small arms for US infantry. Uh, this is gonna go great for World War II dioramas as well as the Horizon Island Defense Force diorama that I've been talking about. I'm gonna use a couple of these for it. Uh, it's also, it's got flamethrowers, gas masks, small arms, handguns, all sorts of fun stuff, so. Looking forward to putting these together. Then, not from Hobby Town USA, but from Half Price Books, I got this Wehrmacht Panzer Division 39-45 book. Uh, it talks about self-propelled guns, tanks, half tracks, and armored fighting vehicles. Uh, really nice, really sweet little book. Got a really great deal on it. And uh, yeah, talks about you know, the units themselves, how they're organized, the specs of all the vehicles, some really good reference art in here as well for like camo, for like camo schemes. Uh, so that's really neat. It'd be a great book for references. Next up on the list is the Tamiya Late War Tiger One. 
I got this because I want a late war tiger with Zimmermint. Now, unfortunately, this does not have the Zimmermint molded into it. Uh, I asked one of the workers there at the store and he said he thought it did, uh, but unfortunately it does not. However, <laughs> it comes with instructions on how to make your own Zimmermint with, you guessed it, Tamiya putty. Uh, I've never used Tamiya putty. I've heard it's amazing, so it's gonna be interesting to do. Uh, kit has hardly an interior, which is a given for a kit from 1989. Uh, you know, it has a couple seats for the figures, but that's about it. Uh, I got some putty to go with it. Uh, this has the individual track links. That's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. They have a couple different markings in here. The marking sheet isn't laid out that well. Uh, so I might have to do some Google research, but they got some really good reference art on the front and the sides. So we'll see what I come up with. Definitely be late war. I'm wanting to do Western Front. And I'm pretty sure this 308 was from the 100 and, what was the 101st Heavy Tank Battalion. I might be wrong there. Uh, well, I'll do my research. <laughs> but looking forward to doing this and I'll make it historically accurate unlike my last tiger. Last but certainly not least is the Tamiya M26 Pershing. Um, if you know me, I, the Pershing is my favorite tank. I've been wanting one for a long time. I wanted to get the Dragon Pershing that came with the US anti-tank team, but unfortunately, you know, locally it's not here and I haven't been able to find it online very well. A friend of mine showed me some on eBay, but some of them were pretty damn expensive. So I'm gonna go with this uh, for now. I am going to replace the barrel and the 50 caliber and then get some resin stowage and make some tarps and like putty and whatnot uh, or plaster, whatever the hell. And then I would like to get new tracks for it also. Um, if there's any like length and link tracks I can get for this, that would be amazing because those are my favorite tracks. Uh, I was gonna do Eagle 7 from Spearhead. Sorry about that. The wife had a question about grocery shopping. So, anyways. Sorry about that technical difficulty. I got a phone call. So, as I was saying, uh, the Eagle 7 from Spearhead. Uh, if you've read the book, you know what I'm talking about. Clarence, the tank duel at Cologne. I wanted to do the Eagle 7 Pershing, you know, before that engagement. Uh, however, they don't have the markings in here for it. And I'm already buying a lot of aftermarket for this kit. And I can get some cheap decals that are good for my buddy. But I think, you know, I looked at the decals already in here. And there's one called Fireball. And if you know much about the Pershing from World War II, it wasn't used a lot. It was very rare that one was put in a unit because it was towards the end of the war. And the few that were used uh, were pretty successful for the most part. Uh, but Fireball here had a bad luck of the run. And second day in combat, Homeboy got slammed three times by a Tiger One uh, because the commander thought it would be a good idea to be silhouetted by a burning house. Yeah, so the first round went to the coax machine gun, killing the gunner and uh, loader instantly. The second round hit the muzzle brake, broke that. And the third round bounced off the commander's cupola and took off the top hatch, because uh, the hatch was open. So, uh, however, you know, that was the second day of combat. It got sent back, repaired, and it got put back on the line. So my thought process, or what I'm thinking about doing, I'm gonna do fireball but after it got repaired. I'm gonna do some research, make sure, you know, it still actually saw combat uh, and see if I can get some pictures afterwards. But yeah, that's kind of what I'd like to do. Late war Pershing, uh, we'll, we'll see. I might, I'd like to get some resin figures for it. This is gonna be a long project. I probably won't get to this until maybe the spring or summer, uh, but that's okay. So that's really it guys. Uh, you know, at the end of this, I'll show you guys a picture of Fireball with the broken uh, everything, basically. But lots of stuff coming in. Unfortunately, can't do much building. However, you know, that being said, I am working on the B-Wing right now. Uh, I got it built up, prime black, and then right now I'm currently using the spray can. 
and paint it white. And then once that's done, <clears throat> once the white is finished, I'm gonna seal it with uh, a very light coat of gloss. And then I'm gonna paint, hand paint the gray parts and then I'll put the decals on and then I'll do a matte coat over that and then I'll be able to weather it. So uh, stay tuned for that. That'll probably be done within the next week because next Monday I start, excuse me, next Monday I start work. Uh, so this week I'm just gonna kind of chill out, hang out, build models and all that fun jazz. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more, be safe, and I'll catch you guys.